why we raced up here. There's no weather we haven't experienced yet. Blizzards, temperatures down to negative 40. Temperatures well into the hundreds. It's like, how much fun can I squeeze into a weekend? You wagging your tail? Is that your new friend? <laughs> I had been sober for two years and I didn't have a job. I didn't have any accountability. I made the decision to start looking for a dog. I saw her on a Facebook page and I saw her face and I had to meet this dog. The day after I moved in, I got a call from Diane from Rough House Rescue and she's like, PJ, can you pick Clove up right now? And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Very awkward. I knew she was very uncomfortable. She just kind of cowered in my presence and she was very timid. The next day I brought her to a park. It was like poof. This wasn't the same dog I picked up. All of a sudden she came alive and I was like, all right, let's go with this. I had never gone for a walk in the woods. I had never climbed the mountain. Fearless leader. Hiking was the common ground that broke the barrier between the two of us initially. It became a shared experience between the two of us. <laughs> we were learning like the ways of hiking and climbing together. We hiked up to there today. It's almost this mental connection <laughs> that I have with her. It's really beyond anything I've had with you. Come on, buddy, you can do it. It's like this camaraderie between the two of us. She pushes me to keep going and I keep pushing her to keep going. I don't know if while I'm at work she's studying, you know, trail maps or something, but she knows exactly where to go. I'm just kind of following her half of the time. And we've never got lost. We hiked the tallest mountain in the United States that a dog can actually stand on, which was a very emotional day. What I've been doing is setting like little bucket list things for us to do. It seems like every single one that I set, we end up doing. That's hail. We got caught in a electrical storm on top of a 14,000 foot mountain. It was in August and it started snowing. All of her hair was sticking up. I ended up grabbing her, just laying on top of her until the storm passed. Some weather up here. As if anything couldn't get any more perfect, the rainbow greeted us after that storm. If you're living in the past, or you're living in the future, what are you actually doing? Like, are you actually living? I remember having a very negative outlook on life. I don't have that negative outlook on life anymore. Like, life is really good. I'm like the proudest father in the world. <laughs> I'm proud of all the progress, all the barriers that she's crushed. And I'm so glad that I could be a part of it. She's given me a reason to get up, get off my ass, and just do my best.